Hey guys, John here from Learning Guitar Now. In this lesson, I want to show you how to play an Eric Clapton inspired Have You Ever Loved a Woman style solo in the key of C. I drew from his live performances where he's using a 335 for this lesson. The tones he got back in the 90s using uh, the 335 guitar were some of my favorite blues sounds he ever got. To get the tone for the lesson, I'm using my Shure SL68 plugged directly into the amp with no effects. I did, however, add some room and some plate reverb uh, during mix down. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first few looks for free. And if you would like to gain access to the full lesson, interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the all access pass. Let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into 12 separate licks. Uh, we're in the key of C. 12 8 slow blues and uh, lick one sounds like this. Okay, so uh, that is lick number one and it is coming in on the fourth count of uh, this uh, slow blues here. We're just counting one, two, three on the fourth count uh, coming into this area. And what we're doing is we're starting into this major pentatonic position. There's numerous ways to look at, at this. You know, you can think of it minor pentatonic, move back three frets. But, but what I was thinking about for this little uh, solo here, I've seen Clapton use this position a lot, is it's BB King position, but in the wrong area. That's just kind of a way I, I like to relate to it as. So we got our BB King position in the key of C up here. Uh, root note with your first finger, B string, uh, this is the 13th fret C note here. So you got that same little uh, phrase you can play, BB King position. Now I'm just gonna move it down an octave. Like I said, I like to call it the wrong position, the wrong area. See, same phrase, just up an octave sounds a little bit different. So I'm sliding into the seventh fret of the D string here. Um, right there on the, your third finger, five, seven, third, first and third finger, bending up the seven just slightly to about that minor third, seven, five. So it's a good idea to know, you know, where that minor third and major third is when you're bending in this area of the BB King position or, you know, minor pentatonic, move back three frets. And that seventh fret right here, you know, if you bend it one step up, minor, two steps up, major. So it gives you a lot to play with. And you can also bend in the middle of that, not exactly to this or this. You got uh, just a really blues sound to me, that minor third, major third kind of tension. So pretty easy little phrase here. Ha quick hammer on and pull off here, five, seven, five. Root, add some vibrato. You gotta always gotta know your roots here. That fifth fret of the G string, first finger. Cutting it off that seventh little, seventh fret here in the D string. Slowly. Okay. That's it for lick one. All right, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so for lick two, uh, sticking with this uh, major pentatonic area, uh, like I said previously, the BB King position, just down an octave, six, eight on the B string. Then bend up seventh fret slightly again. We're playing this over the um, the F chord, the four chord. And most of the F chord is just space, really. We have this lick over the C chord. Now F. And then we're just gonna uh, rest for until the 12th count and play this phrase. And then that's when the C comes back in. And then on that time, we're gonna bend the seventh fret up to the major third on that bend. So you got six, eight, then bend up that seventh fret to the about minor third sound, pull it down, seven, five, seven, and then back to your root note. Bend it twice, but only strike it once. 
So it's a good idea to learn how to play that type of lick in a, you know, a couple of different areas over the fretboard. This starts opening up the fretboard so much more when you can just play a lick and move it to a different area. <laughs> And so if you can quickly do that with a lot of your licks, I mean, you're opening up the fretboard uh, very quickly, just learning how to play little phrases and licks in uh, a couple different, two or three different places all over the fretboard. That's just going, you know, up an octave. So that's one little exercise you can do with all your licks you already know. See if you can uh, move them up an octave uh, when you're practicing your improvising. Okay, like three sounds like this. All right, so for lick number three, we're gonna come in on the fourth count here. And we're sticking in that same little BB King area. And so you got one, two, three. You're gonna bend that eighth fret on the B string uh, to that flat seventh sound. So it's a pretty, pretty high, you know, three fret bend, but you're gonna gradually get there. So to the very end, you kind of bend it to that place. So I strike it pretty hard from a distance. I'm not just playing, I'm going. So that means you gotta mute some strings when you're striking. I'm using that, my first finger to mute like that. So if you watch Clapton play, he'll do that little type of thing a lot. Just attack it real hard. And especially in that area, at the very last moment, you're just gonna bend gradually and then get to that flat seventh sound. And just walk down the blues scale right here. Eight, seven, six on the B string. And another BB King inspired lick right down the blues scale. And another classic BB King move hitting that fifth interval to root up an octave. I just played the same lick up an octave. So once again, you can hear, it sounds more to me like, you know, you would hear BB King do that tuck lip. In the very end phrase, you're just gonna bend that seventh fret up here to the minor third sound. And that's played over the uh, four chord right here, the, ver the last part of it. And if you notice that note you're bending to, seventh fret here on the G string, we're playing over F7. It's just they're bending to that note contained in the F7 chord here, that flat seven. So really cool lick, and especially getting that, that bend, that'll be the hardest thing to get, is bending that. One other thing to take note of is uh, the tone that I'm getting for the first uh, 12 bars for the main part, is I'm using the middle position, but I got the volume on this guitar on seven for the bridge, and then for the neck, I got it on six. Uh, find that you get that quacky sound uh, that sounds like Eric Clapton. We have the bridge pickup set one, just one volume notch above the neck. After a lot of experimentation, that's what I like the most. And I think it sounds a lot like Clapton's tone when he's using 335 uh, when he's playing blues. Okay, that does it for this free lesson. Uh, as I mentioned previously, if you would like to gain access to the full lesson, check out the All Access Pass. When you do become an All Access Pass subscriber, you'll also gain access to all the courses and lessons on the site that teach you the concepts and techniques uh, required to play improvisational blues and slide guitar. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.